Sports. I'm James Cebulski. Well, game two of this matchup is set to go down tonight. Two teams looking stark for a win. And we are set to go. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. The Dynamo's taken along the run. And that's knocked away. Grabs it in his own end. Moscow's got it in their own zone. Great hand-eye coordination as he gets the puck back. The score! And just like that, it's a 1-0 hockey game. Well, they started like a free train, just steamrolling their opponent, James. I, I mean, they really dictated right from the onset of this game. That tells me one thing. They were prepared coming in. Well, he's known for his gift to distribute, James, but it's easier said than done. You're under pressure. There's traffic, but every single time, he's got pinpoint accuracy and delivers right to his teammate's stick. Moscow's on the board. The crowd's loving it. I even think the coach is smiling on the bench, too. That's well, always a good thing when you look back at your coach and they're smiling because it doesn't happen often, James. <laughs> but one thing that does get a smile is a great start because they now know that you were ready right from puck drop, not from just a physical standpoint, but from an emotional side, too. Keeps the hold of the puck after that knock. Takes the feet at the back end. Forced to leave as well. Kamenev's got the puck. Hammers the shot. Sacrifices the body. With the blast. And he scores! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, you will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. Well, this is just a great job to get the hands away from the body and deflect that puck into the net as it changes direction. Goaltender doesn't have a chance. Merkley's won the draw at center. Grabs it at his own end. Shot it, and that carries off a stick. Moves inside. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Moscow's on the attack. Shot, turns it aside with the glove. Coaches wanted a lot of shots on net, and the team has delivered so far, leading late in the first. Svechnikov's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Shot! Oh, what a stop on the play! Gets all of it with the paddle. Another stop by the goaltender. Seconds. Big save right at the end. Period number one in the books. First intermission entertainment is on deck here. You can also have time to go grab a drink, grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with period number two in moments. And the opening face-off here in period number two is about set. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Moscow's had an impressive start to this game. Now they're heading into the second period. It's a bit of an ice tilt in the first, so they want to continue that. And opening up lanes, the biggest thing about that is when you open up lanes, you got to attack and drive. you got to know exactly when to shoot the puck, and they've been doing it so far in this game. Slip feed. And 
we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Oh, that just goes wide. There's so many moving parts in the game of hockey, which is why it's one of the most difficult sports in the world. And he gets to that prime time scoring area. You don't get that too often. And he just sails it and misses the net. Stars make it three in a row. Moscow's got to be pleased with the effort they've had tonight. They just continue to pile up the goals. So you want to buy in, and the coach will be impressed by this. You buy in defensively, and it creates offense because you're quick to get pucks and go north, and this is exactly how you take care of your own zone. How about the majority of shots in the offensive zone as well? 200 foot game. It's been complete today so far, James. Unleashes a cannon, and that's blocked in traffic. Scores, and they tuck it into the round. James, I think they waved this off immediately. This goal is not going to count. No time to think about that non-goal calls. We are ready to resume here. And he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. <laughs> Moscow's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Winds up, lets it go, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. Takes the feed. The Dynamo's taken along the wall. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Pass back to the point. Fantastic save! They just keep coming in waves here in the offensive end. Dishes it off. It says it all, James. I, I mean, this is their fearless leader who provides a ton of energy to this group. The timeliness of the goal, the energy that he brings, and encapsulates what he means to this team. Well, timing is everything, and this guy knows that he needs to be an emotional barometer for this team, and that goal sends a jolt right through the entire bench. You can see them all up on their feet. They got some newfound energy now. The Dynamos desperately needed that, and Cheryl, I know I sound like Captain Obvious on that one. Well, two-goal deficit is certainly better than a three-goal deficit, James. I know I'm Captain Obvious as well there. But finding a way to get it done, there's a lot of time left in this game for them to claw their way back in. It just takes one to reset the sail. Quick feed to Kamenev. Big time play right there. Curran's got it across the line. Belarus has it behind the cage. Moscow's got control of it now from their own end. With possession along the wall. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. I love this power move. It's all about shielding the puck, being aware of where your opponent is and where the placement of the puck is on your stick, using your leg to shield, using your arm to shield to create your own space. Just runs out of real estate here, and the goaltender reads it perfectly. Moscow's had one song in their mind all night long. Shot, 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 shot. They continue to lead late in the second. Sveshnikov's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Receives the pass. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Well, there you go. We played 40 minutes. Final chance for the coaches to push their messages home. And we'll see the third period coming up in just a matter of moments. <sighs> 40 minutes in the books. Big third period coming up for both teams, and we're ready to go. And they have 
drop the puck here on the final frame. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? Belarus is losing in this game because they haven't had the puck on their stick. Simply been chasing the game the entire 40 minutes that have gone by so far, James. They need to make some adjustments, really reset the game plan in the third if they want to attempt to get back in it. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Moscow's got the puck. Kamenev's tripped up and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. The Dynamos will lose a man, tripping the call. Nesterov's looking to use his zone ability to generate some scoring here, guys. The power play is a great opportunity for him to use his skills to his team's advantage. Moves it quickly over to Nesterov. Oh, stick save and a few. That was a necessary stop on their emotional leader, James. And if he had put that puck in the net, it would have created an energy that would have been hard to stop. Great four check by Osipov. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Oh, how you doing the double G? The great glove save. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. The checkers played along the wing. Takes the puck. Denies him! He got all of it! And he totally whiffs on that one. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Belarus has it against the half wall. Here's a chance, and the puck makes off the glove. Takes the feed. Abramov's got it into offensive territory. Big time stop. Belarus gets the puck near the boards. Belarus gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Moves it to the middle. They score! This is just a fabulous shot. When you're in that high slot area, you know that you're going to be closed upon quickly, so you got to have a quick release. That's the first thing. And the second thing is the accuracy. If it's quick and it's on, you're going to score. Belarus hasn't rolled over in this one. That goal has suddenly made this one a one-goal game. They're hunting and they're hounding because they want it. You can feel it. It's the energy that's coming off of the bench. You know that the coach is talking about retrieval and owning and possessing the puck. They did that on that last goal. Across the line from center. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Trailing this late in the game, this is going to be a real tough one to come back from here. Now you're short-handed, and there's not enough runway left. Moscow's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. When the power play is struggling, you got to get pucks to the net, and you have to have net front presence. Take away the tender's eyes. You know they work on it from a young age. Puck tracking skills, anticipation. Don't let the tender see the puck. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. The attacker out there, and Cheryl, we know what this means. Well, you have to get possession with that extra player on the ice. They'll look to win that draw and convert on their opportunity. Quick pass. And there's a whistle after that big-time shot. I think it busted the glass. Yeah, it didn't shatter, though. It's amazing today with the new technology of the sticks and the way these players shoot the puck that it didn't just blast and shatter and explode. Instead, it's a crack, so the maintenance crew will come out and they'll just replace the panel. Takes control of the puck. Belarus has possession of the puck. And he takes a shot. That eyes him on the play. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face off looming. Osipov's gliding in for the face off as this penalty kill will continue. The checkers start with the puck in their own end. Huge win by the center to give his team an opportunity to get out of the zone after a critical icing. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Looking to clear the defensive zone. 
And they get the puck out. That's exactly what they needed. Fires to the empty net. Scores into the empty net. And that should probably wrap this one up. Yeah, it will. It'll seal the deal, James. The insurance marker. A lot of fun as well. Goal scoring is fun. Doesn't matter how it goes in, even if it is an empty net. Now you can see the body language on them, James. The dying moments of the game. And they're able to get the empty net goal. Everyone can take a deep breath here as that should do it. Moscow's tenacity on full display after that empty netter. Yeah, and they earned the empty net, right, James? They got themselves a lead. They were urgent all game, and they just capitalized at the right time. And off the faceoff, they take possession. Shot! And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Final hold the sound of bringing this one to an end. Well, this team clearly has their eyes on the prize after now taking a second straight win to go up two zip. Yeah, and you know what the talk in the room will be about. It'll be about staying present and in the moment. That is one game at a time. Because in order to have killer instinct, you gotta find a way to take care of business today. Not yesterday, today. Well, I certainly had a great time. And from all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Cebulski. Thanks so much for spending your time with us here this evening. And we will see you at the next playoff game.